have created a project called network request. Here in this project, I have added internet permission and added the OK HTTP3 library and sync it to my Android Studio. Now OK HTTP is completely configured. Now I can get started using OK HTTP directly. So before I get started, I'll be consuming this API from GitHub called api.github.com forward slash users forward slash username. Here it can be your username. So in this example, I'm using my username. I'll start writing the code. Okay, HTTP client client calls new okay HTTP client and request class from okay HTTP library call it as sorry it cannot be response it is request only <coughs> request users builder pattern so use request.builder and use URL string and copy this URL. I mean, whatever the JSON that you would love to consume, add that and build the request. Now, response. Response from OKHTTP. Here also goes the same. So, but this is not a builder class, but instead this is a request instance. For example, client dot new call and pass this request here and execute the program and add it inside the try catch block. So now, yes, this is all required to call the particular API, but I mean web service. So this is happening on the main thread. So we need to restrict this to happen inside the main thread. So for that, I'll write a new async task. Async task and I'll pass parameters void void and string. Okay, now here implement method doing background and execute dot execute so that's it copy this entire thing and paste it inside that and here return response dot body dot string Okay, it will return a raw JSON response. To check that, I'll use log m. So before using log m, make sure you have log t, which is a class tag on top of the class. Instead of params, I would now call response dot body dot string okay so let me compile this so when you get the raw response from the OKHTTP okay library you can use any serializer using like JSON or uh, JSON serializers, you can parse the JSON. So the, the idea is in this episode to get the JSON response using OK HTTP client. It's very straightforward and very simple. So you can even create uh, certain constants. Yes, and this is the response that we have caught okay so keep watching android abcd for a lot more code fun thank you for subscribing and liking the video